Final round highlights from the NEC Series Latino America Tours Dominican Republic Open. Beautiful views all week long at the teeth of the dog. It's the last time I get to say that until next year. Starting off on the ninth hole, it's Sean Jacklin from just off the green with the putter. Tries to get it to go and he leaves himself by no means a gimme here, about five feet out. This to get to nine under par and he gets it to go. He started off his day with three birdies in a row, dropped one on seven, got that one back, but we're finished with two bogeys for an eight under overall score. Good enough for a tie for fifth finish. Julian Etulane now sitting at nine under par. This is on the par three fifth. As he leaves himself there about three feet for birdie, which he would go on to make coming off three consecutive birdies there. He can go on and make that four in a row. And we'll stay with that two lane, but heading over to the 15, take a look at this bomb of a putt over the spine, puts it right in the middle of the cup. That is to get to 12 under par, which would have been enough to join the eventual playoff, but he would give one back in the 16th to finish at 11 under. Rick Cochran, the third on the ninth, sitting at 11 under. Remember, this is the par five. So going for it in two here, he leaves himself a great eagle look is really windy on Sunday in the Dominican Republic but was not affecting his ball flight one bit on the par 5 ninth wasn't affecting his putting either as he rolls that one in for eagle to jump to 13 under par he would bogey his final two holes though which opened the door for this man Michael Budakavali sitting at seven under this is on the ninth as well this is his third shot Coming off an over par round on Saturday, so grinding to put himself back in contention on Sunday. He would make this to get to eight under par, and this is where Budukavali really turned it on. Sitting again at seven under, running out of holes, but he had a pretty ridiculous run. He birdied his next four in a row, all pars then from 15 to 17, which leaves him at 11 under par for all you math majors out there. And he has one chance, one hole left to force a playoff with Rick Cochran the third. This is his second shot on the par 4 18. And take a look at what he does here. He skips it up and stuffs it in there, leaving himself a three footer, which he would go on to make, which means we are heading into a playoff. They match each other on the first two playoff holes. So this is. The third playoff hole, Rick Cochran, the third for birdie on the 18th. He cannot get it to go, leaving Budakavali now for a birdie chance and the outright win on the third. And he can't get that one to go, but he would go on a tap in for par, leaving all the pressure now on Cochran to make his par putt to force the fourth playoff hole here at the Dominican Republic Open. Cochran cannot get it to drop. He cannot believe it. It lips out, which means Budakavali is your champion. He had only made two cuts on the season before this week. Catapults him up the money list to seventh with his first win on the NEC series.